I know yesterday a lot of people were asking me to watch this this interview um that Hans gave um that Hans gave uh gave after round five I think it was of the Sinkfield Cup now again due to some issues with St. Louis I'm not gonna be watching that interview on stream Hans uh hack my mic good one that being said I did actually make some notes you guys so I am gonna uh just read a couple of things that I have in specific regards to what was said so first of all the first point I want to make is in regards uh just a couple of couple of points was regards to the Catalan so if we look at this Catalan Hans Hans made a remark about saying talking about transpositions is how it make everyone look dumb now what he alluded to is he alluded to transposition from knight c3 d5 I believe he said g3 castles bishop g2 dc4 and a3 now this is a legitimate position that can occur so this is possible that being said however I do want to add um either he's I will say that I think he's very lucky in terms of how he hit it though because when he played Bishop b4 I did look through the database uh turn the music off okay you don't want the music okay sorry okay I'll turn the music off for a second sorry about that um uh yeah so as I was saying um from the start so so the first point I want to talk about is the Catalan so now Hans was saying of course from the Nimzo Indian this position just you know Magnus has never had this position at all with this Bishop b4 g3 d5 etc etc um now what he alluded to is knight f3 bishop b4 and knight c3 d5 or sorry wait no sorry it wasn't the sword it was uh it was knight f3 d5 g3 bishop b4 knight c3 castles bishop g2 dc4 a3 and this is a line that has been played before um it's quite common actually I had this with a black piece as Noterbeck in the um in the RCC maybe like a month ago I think it was where I played it went bishop b7 knight e5 etc etc um now I will say the reason that I say that this this might just be very five head but it is plausible is quite simple um after Bishop b4 Magus has never played Knight c3 he's only played Bishop d2 at least in the online database I looked at in chess base he's had like six games and Bishop d2 of course is also um the main move here is played a lot more frequently it goes Bishop d2 Bishop e7 and normally white plays Bishop d2 castles Queen c2 etc 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 and it goes on however one of his seconds for the world championship Daniil Dubov has played Knight c3 very 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 um uh very very many times sorry I was about to say very very conveniently but he's played Knight c3 quite a few times so maybe it is five head it is possible that Hans was looking at the games of Magnus the seconds like Daniil Dubov and others and so that's how he, he reached this conclusion and then of course he looked at the line leading to transmission etc 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 um I still think it's fairly unlikely but maybe Hans is lucky it is definitely plausible I will say that in regards um in regards to the um in regards to the Catalan so that was the first point that I wanted to make now later on in the video Hans very clearly he uses this word and I'll, I'll, I'll just say he says directly d direct accusation so he says that I directly accuse him of cheating now there might be a YouTube video coming out later um from the VOD the other day specifically because there are many instances where I said that he did not cheat over the board the one thing I did say was that he did cheat online and he himself admitted that he did so I want to be very clear on that that's the second point when he says direct accusations I never made a direct accusation about over the board shots um so that's the, that's the second point that I want to make now the third point and this is probably the most important thing um is in regards to chess.com and I believe it's the uh uh, I believe it's the chess global championship I think that's I, again I always get it confused it's called CGC I'm not sure exactly what it's no he said direct accusations he did not say indirect he said direct quote 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 unquote he said direct accusations that is in the interview he says it very clearly there is there's no disputing that he says black and white he says direct accusations. so I want to be very very clear on that point when he with what he says um uh um so on the third point about chess.com now apparently chess.com banned uh banned um banned Hans from the I'm gonna say chess global championship I I don't again like I said I don't know exactly what CGC stands for um he basically chess.com banned him after this game with with that with Magnus now of course I had no idea of this I'm actually quite shocked myself to hear this um it's very surprising I think uh chess.com has to answer in some way uh make a statement whatever it might be because of course it's I, I mean again not to speculate but I find it very hard to believe it's just like Magnus gets angry over game and they ban him for that I mean I find that hard to believe but nobody knows nobody no nobody knows um so I think we're still hoping for a statement from chess.com I mean I myself want to hear a statement too because it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense if if it's something where it's like I mean I mean if, if it really is like Magnus after losing the game said that I mean I just I don't believe that but again chess.com they're a very big company I mean who knows obviously I think they're in the process of buying play mags got a lot of lawyers everything else and, and and I mean they're just a huge company so who knows who knows what's going to happen um so that is um 
that's the, the part that I want to say. Now, I also want to comment a little bit um, in terms of uh, in, in terms of these accusations. Now, I don't believe that anybody who's had suspicions or said things it relates to the Sinkfield Cup. Um, if you if you look at the history of Hans um, over the last couple of years, he's had probably the most meteoric rise in the entire history of chess um, of any 17 year old by far. Uh, if you look at the other other juniors who I believe are around like 2700 ish, I think almost all of them became grandmasters at about 14, 15, maybe maybe some even at 16. But to go from a 2480 IM to 27, 10, 27, 20, whatever it might be in the last two years, uh, I think a lot of grandmasters are definitely suspicious of that. It's unprecedented in the entire history of chess. Um, now, I will say that I myself, I've always thought it's weird. Now, I've, again, there are people, I will not name names, who, who have said some things differently publicly. Um, who, who actually have, over the last couple of years have, have been telling me this nonstop. And I've always thought they're completely crazy. I've always believed in Hans's point of view. But when you hear about, I, I will say, I heard about this directly from someone in St. Louis, one of the players during the Rapid and Blitz, who said that they're, they're basically certain that Hans has done something. And, um, and then Magnus withdraws from the tournament. So it's very, very, it's very, very strange. And that is what that that is why when we look at the whole situation, you look at it um, with a bigger picture. Now, I'm not going to I'm not going to talk about it, obviously, in terms of that. Uh, The last point that I will make as well, just to be very clear, is that it is very good that Hans admitted cheating. And I am really hopeful that um, I mean, chess.com or Magus, there's going to be some kind of statement in the future. There has to be. Um, It's uh, it's possibly justified making a mistake based on past history. Um. Well, I mean, I think that's what it's that's what it's about. I don't think it's about the Sinkfield Cup, but somebody I mean, there has to be some kind of statement. That's the bottom line. Um, So, again, we'll see. We'll see what's what's happening. Um, Hikaru Hans cheated online. Hans, I cheated online. Reddit, OMG, Hikaru should apologize. Yeah, exactly. Um, So, again, it's I I think we're waiting to hear something from Magnus. We're waiting to hear something from um, from uh, from chess.com. It's that simple. Um, I still convinced his accent is fake. I mean, I think it's part of a persona. I, I will say that I do think it's part of a persona because Hans is a, um, he did stream, you know, when you're streaming, sometimes you do try to put on a persona, some accents, things of this nature, definitely a showman. So I, I think, I mean, I think it's part of a persona, but does, does that have anything to do with chess? No, not at all. It never has. That has nothing to do with it whatsoever. So that is a little bit that I'm going to, that I'm going to say about it right now, just to be very, very clear. Um, as I said, in terms of Hans, Hans literally saying direct accusations, there's probably going to be a video on YouTube from my VOD the other day. And, um, and even from the VOD itself, I, I, I welcome anybody to go, go, uh, go look at it and see if I, if I, said, that, uh, I said that Hans has cheated over the board because I did not.